hey guys welcome back so last time we left off when we were running on this issue that a user was trying to access the route when they were not logged in and in that route we need the user to really be logged in for the app to work properly so what we want to do is we want to protect this this these views that if a user is not logged in here we send them to the login page so to be able to do that we are going to be importing some built-in decorators so here we want to do from Django contrib both decorators then we want the one called login required so now that we have the decorator we can wrap it on our view so here we can say at login required like this and yeah that should be able to do the job so if we came here and refreshed you see that now we are sent to this url so this is accounts slash login slash next so the reason why we are sent here is because by default Django is Django expects us expects our login to be hosted here. So we need to change something in our settings. So we're gonna go to our settings.py, then we want to specify the login URL. So here you can say login URL. So that this one is gonna be of course ours is on slash auth slash login. So that's one that's what we wanna put here, like this. So if you come back, let's go to the home page, refresh. You said now we are brought to the login page. Good. Okay, so every time we try to access home, you see we can't access because we are not logged in. So let's go ahead and make sure that all these are all these other routes have the same protection. So we're gonna go here, also here, even here. So now since the user can only see only the to-dos they have created, you see before we delete the to-do. We want to first check if it is the this user who owns it because someone can quickly enter a param in our urls and they trick us into deleting it so here we want to also add a check so we want to do if to do dot owner equals request dot user like this so if that is the case then we want to delete it just do this otherwise we need to tell them that something went wrong so let's make sure this is done for that otherwise we don't want to delete it so we can keep this here okay so that's just a check to make sure users don't delete things that don't belong to them perhaps we should do the same thing for the edit so people don't edit what don't belong to them so we can come here on the edit so here before we save we can check that and things should be good okay cool so if we come here refresh let's try to access create we also redirected okay if we try to access another endpoint let's say we access uh, detail so that's gonna be to do this one so this we also need to protect it so to be able to protect it of course no 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 page not found huh yes we also need to protect to do detail and to do edit so here we want to have a login required also we want to protect detail where is detail ah, i guess that's it okay so it looks like this doesn't exist so now you see when we are logged in we can access but if we log out and try to go back here you see that there is no way we can access that stuff all right so that's gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll talk to you in the next one